He is remarkably alert. When I get to the point of the window in front of his room, he's usually aware, right? He kind of knows what's going on and he'll give me a wave. And he'll usually beckon me, you know, and then he'll want to tell me he wants to go home. <laughs> when can I go home? And so as long as he's asking me that, I think we're, we have the right frame of mind. Well, the echocardiograms show a wonderful squeeze. And then it also shows a very nice relaxation phase, which is important. And um, the laboratory research has suggested that we sometimes lose relaxation before we lose squeeze when there are issues. And neither of those seem to be problems currently. We're feeling progressively confident that we're, we're ahead of issues with respect to heart rejection for a while, months maybe. We are very concerned that infection may be our biggest next challenge. Not that we are concerned there's anything, you know, right now brewing, but, you know, a, an experienced transplanter always knows infection, rejection. When you suppress for rejection, you open the door for infection. And we try to find that happy balance. And what that is for Xeno heart transplantation, we don't know. We're just doing our best to minimize the therapy necessary to keep the heart strong. The porcine heart is not used to um, human blood pressure. Uh, the pig runs a little lower in blood pressure, uh, and just like we advise our patients with hypertension, high blood pressure, that we see in the clinics, um, uh, we will be treating our patient so that his inclination to have a higher blood pressure uh, will be uh, lessened by medication because we don't want to expose this heart to an unusually high pressure that it's not used to. He's actively involved in physical therapy. Uh, he's stood straight up in his bed. We have a bed that converts to a vertical kind of posture for him. And um, that's because he hasn't been out of bed for more than 65 days, you know, uh, before the transplant. So we have to kind of reset all of the things that make us not dizzy when we stand up, you know, after a long time being in bed. We have to get his legs strong enough that they can support him, which they are not yet. So the next big move will be to get him to be able to walk, even if it's in the ICU, on a walker. 